Chapter 1, Introduction to Corporate Social Responsibility Corporate Social Responsibility CSR has become an increasingly important aspect of business operations in recent years. More and more companies are recognizing the importance of their impact on society and the environment, and are taking steps to make a positive contribution to both. One of the key principles of CSR is sustainability. This refers to the idea that companies should operate in a way that preserves natural resources and ensures a stable and healthy environment for future generations. This can involve reducing waste and emissions, using renewable energy sources, and implementing eco-friendly practices throughout the supply chain. Another important aspect of CSR is ethics. Companies that adopt ethical practices are more likely to build trust with their customers and stakeholders, and to avoid negative publicity or legal troubles. This can involve issues such as fair labor practices, anti-corruption policies, and responsible marketing. Transparency is also crucial in CSR. Companies that are willing to be open and honest about their operations and impact are more likely to build trust with stakeholders. This can involve publishing sustainability reports, engaging with customers and employees on social media, and responding to feedback and criticism in a timely and positive manner. Stakeholders are another important consideration in CSR. This includes everyone who is affected by a company's operations, including employees, customers, suppliers, and the wider community. Companies that take a stakeholder-focused approach are more likely to build long-term relationships and to be successful in the long run. Accountability is another key principle of CSR. Companies that take responsibility for their actions and impact are more likely to be respected and trusted by stakeholders. This can involve setting goals and targets, measuring and reporting progress towards these, and engaging with stakeholders on the results. Finally, CSR is about taking responsibility for the impact that companies have on society, the environment, and the economy. Companies that adopt a social and environmental conscience are more likely to attract and retain employees and customers who share similar values. In conclusion, corporate social responsibility CSR is a vital aspect of modern business operations. It involves taking responsibility for the impact that companies have on society, the environment, and the economy, and taking steps to make a positive contribution on these fronts. By adopting principles of sustainability, ethics, transparency, stakeholder engagement, accountability and responsibility, companies can build trust and respect with customers and other stakeholders and create a better future for everyone. Question, what is Corporate Social Responsibility CSR? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, The Importance of CSR to Company Success As the CEO of a successful company, Sarah knew that the importance of corporate social responsibility CSR couldn't be ignored. She understood that her company's reputation, brand image, and financial performance depended not only on innovating and delivering quality products, but also on fostering a positive relationship with her employees, customers, and the society. After implementing various CSR initiatives, such as making products with eco-friendly materials, supporting the local community, and enhancing employee welfare, Sarah quickly noticed a positive impact on the company's financial performance. The customers appreciated the company's efforts to put contributing to the society at the forefront, and the employees also became more engaged and motivated to work for the company. The company's brand image had improved, and the public relations team could pitch the company's story to the media in a more appealing and positive way. With all that in place, the company gained a competitive advantage over its competitors and became the leader in the market. One of the most crucial factors in the company's success was sustainability reporting. By regularly monitoring the company's social, environmental, and economic impact, 
Sarah was able to make better decisions and implement initiatives that brought long-term growth and sustainability to the business. As a result, the company gained credibility and trust from its stakeholders. However, maintaining the high standards of CSR was not without challenges. The product development team faced obstacles in finding eco-friendly alternatives that did not compromise the quality and performance of the products. The management team struggled to balance the company's social responsibility with financial goals, and there were times when the company had to invest a considerable amount of money to implement CSR initiatives that did not necessarily have an immediate ROI. Nonetheless, Sarah believed that the benefits of CSR were worth the effort and investment. The company was not only doing the right thing for the society, but was also doing the right thing for the shareholders. She strongly believed that CSR was not a one-time event or a publicity stunt, but a continuous effort to create shared value for all stakeholders. In conclusion, Sarah knew that the importance of corporate social responsibility could not be overstated. The company's success was not only measured by financial performance, but also by its impact on the employees, customers, society, and the environment. By adopting CSR initiatives, implementing sustainability reporting, and making long-term investments, the company gained a competitive advantage and attracted consumers who believed in the company's mission. Ultimately, CSR became a cornerstone for the company's long-term success and growth. Question, why is CSR important for a company's success? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Implementing CSR Strategies Implementing CSR Strategies, as the CEO of the company, Sarah realized that implementing CSR strategies would require a comprehensive policy to guide the process. The policy had to be based on the company's values and culture and had to be communicated effectively to all employees. Stakeholder engagement was also essential to the success of CSR initiatives. Sarah realized that stakeholders, including customers, investors, suppliers, and employees, needed to be involved in the process and kept informed about the company's progress. This engagement ensured that everyone was aligned with the company's goals and vision, and it helped build trust and loyalty among the stakeholders. To measure progress, the company needed to establish a robust reporting system that tracked the impact of CSR initiatives over time. Sarah knew that the reporting system needed to be transparent, easily accessible, and reliable. This system allowed the company to make informed decisions and adjust strategies as necessary continually. CSR strategies had to be woven into the company's culture and operations to ensure they become sustainable. This meant integrating CSR principles into the way the company operated at all levels, including its supply chain. Sarah realized the importance of working with suppliers who shared similar values and supported ethical practices. To support this culture, the company provided its employees with ethics training to ensure they understood the importance of CSR and acted in line with the company's values. This training helped identify potential ethical issues and how to handle them. Furthermore, ethics training also helped the employees to make ethical decisions that aligned with the company's values. The company's CSR strategies also included corporate philanthropy and volunteering. Sarah knew that companies had a responsibility to give back to society. The company's involvement in charitable activities helped establish the company's reputation as an ethical and responsible business. Furthermore, volunteering initiatives allowed employees to give back to the community and build a sense of pride and camaraderie among the staff. Implementing CSR initiatives had benefits for the company beyond just society and gave them a competitive edge. This was especially evident in the company's supply chain, where it enabled them to work with suppliers who shared similar ethical values and practices, reducing the risk of disruption 
legal backlash, and financial liabilities. Implementing CSR strategies wasn't without challenges. Sometimes the company had to give up short-term financial gains to support long-term sustainable actions. This was sometimes tough for the shareholders and stakeholders to accept, leading to tensions between short-term financial goals and long-term social and environmental goals. Ultimately, Sarah knew that implementing CSR strategies was the right decision for the company. The company not only gained a competitive advantage and built a better reputation, but also contributed to the betterment of society. By integrating CSR into the company's culture, operations, and supply chain, the company became an example of an ethical, responsible, and sustainable business. Question. How can companies implement CSR strategies? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4. Addressing Environmental Sustainability As the company expanded its operations, Sarah became increasingly aware of the planetary impact of the business. The company relied heavily on natural resources and produced a significant carbon footprint in its operations. Sarah knew that it was essential to address these issues and reduce the company's greenhouse gas emissions. To address the issue, the company began producing eco-friendly products that had a lower impact on the environment. These products were made using sustainable materials and were designed to be recycled at the end of their useful life. To demonstrate its commitment to environmental sustainability, the company also implemented several environmental regulations that encouraged waste reduction, recycling, and the use of renewable energy sources. One of the significant areas where the company focused on was its supply chain. Sarah knew that suppliers could have a significant impact on the company's environmental sustainability efforts. Thus, the company worked with its suppliers to implement sustainable manufacturing practices and reduce waste in the supply chain. This resulted in increased efficiency, reducing the carbon footprint of the entire value chain. The company also invested in renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and geothermal energy to power its operations. These sources of energy had a lower impact on the environment and reduced the company's reliance on non-renewable energy sources such as fossil fuels. To further reduce the company's carbon footprint, the company implemented several waste reduction practices. These practices included reducing the use of paper, encouraging employees to use public transportation, and using more efficient lighting and heating systems. The company also implemented recycling programs to reduce the amount of waste sent to landfills. The company's efforts to address environmental sustainability had a significant impact on the environment. The company reduced its greenhouse gas emissions, water consumption, and waste generation significantly. These initiatives also led to cost savings for the company as it relied less on non-renewable energy sources and lowered its operational costs. Overall, the company's focus on environmental sustainability was not only a responsible decision, but also led to several business benefits. The company's reputation improved and consumers increasingly preferred eco-friendly products. Additionally, the company's sustainable supply chain practices improved its relationships with suppliers, leading to long-term business partnerships. Looking back at the company's journey towards environmental sustainability, Sarah was proud of what they had achieved. By taking small but critical steps towards sustainable business practices, the company had made a significant impact on the environment and Sarah knew that their efforts would inspire other businesses to do the same. Question, why is environmental sustainability an important aspect of CSR? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Addressing Social Issues As the company continued to grow, it became increasingly important to address social issues and ensure that the business was operating in an ethical and responsible manner. 
Sarah knew that the company had a responsibility to its employees, customers, and the wider community to address issues such as labor rights, human rights, and community development. To address these issues, the company implemented several initiatives, including diversity and inclusion programs, corporate philanthropy, and employee volunteerism. These initiatives were designed to promote a culture of social responsibility and ensure that the company was making a positive social impact. One of the areas where the company focused on was promoting diversity and inclusion within the company. The company implemented training programs to promote awareness and understanding of diversity issues and ensure that all employees were treated with respect and dignity. The company also established employee resource groups to support underrepresented communities and promote diversity and inclusion in the workplace. In addition to promoting diversity and inclusion, the company also focused on community development and corporate philanthropy. The company established partnerships with local organizations to support community development initiatives and provided financial support to organizations working in areas such as education, health, and environmental sustainability. The company also encouraged employee volunteerism and provided opportunities for employees to give back to their communities. This included paid time off for volunteering, as well as company-sponsored volunteer initiatives. In addition to these initiatives, the company also focused on ethical marketing practices and fair trade. The company implemented a code of conduct for all marketing activities to ensure that they were truthful, accurate, and not misleading. The company also established fair trade partnerships with suppliers to ensure that workers were paid a fair wage and working conditions met international labor standards. To ensure that the company's supply chain was operating ethically and responsibly, the company implemented supply chain transparency measures. This included working closely with suppliers to ensure that they were adhering to ethical labor practices and environmental standards. Overall, the company's social responsibility initiatives had a significant impact on the community and the wider society. The company's commitment to promoting diversity and inclusion, community development, ethical marketing, fair trade, and supply chain transparency helped to ensure that the business was operating in an ethical and responsible manner. Looking back at the company's journey towards social responsibility, Sarah was proud of what they had achieved. By taking small but significant steps towards promoting social responsibility, the company had made a significant impact on their employees, customers, and the community. And Sarah knew that their efforts would inspire other businesses to do the same. Question. What are some examples of social issues in which companies can address through CSR? Check the video description.